Hello, my name's Toby Rye. I teach level one, two, and three art and design, um, but my main area is UAL level two. The main difference between being at college and at being at school is that everybody here is over the age of 16. We treat people like young adults. Um, it's a great place to start afresh, to, to see yourself as a new young adult who's going to make the, make the most of, of the experience that you have here. The facilities, the equipment that we have, the teachers that you'll get, it's a lot more um, dedicated to, to the area that you want to do, so the um, art and design. We've got loads of different specialist teachers. We've got um, several uh, technicians who can help. It's a much more grown-up, professional environment where we treat you as sensible young adults. And we want you to, to feel comfortable, to feel um, that it's a place to, to blossom, to really engage with the subject that you want to do rather than being at school, being forced to do all sorts of different subjects that you may be not keen on, maybe you struggle with. Whereas here, you're doing a subject which, um, which you should massively enjoy. And that's what we want. We want you to encourage you to just to really find the subject that you want to do and to get the, get the most out of it. Um, well, I'll show you the the current timetable, obviously every year this, this alters slightly, but the yellow is when they do art. So the majority of time at college is doing art. And if art is the thing you love doing, then this is the place for you. The reds and the greens are the slots on level two for doing English and maths GCSE retakes. Now those are really, really important because every student needs English and maths in order to, to progress. And the idea is, the aim is to get at least one um, English GCSE or maths GCSE in order to progress onto level three. We run different projects and they last um, I think about four or five weeks per project. We look at animation, we do 2D work, including printmaking, as you can see. Um, and for that 2D project, we made a specific piece of work um, which counts as kind of work experience, where students designed and made, and we fitted a mural for the new restaurant, which is in this new building, the, the View restaurant. And it's a fantastic piece of work, uh, which students did on time, on track, and they did a, a super job. Fantastic piece of work. Um, we do 3D work using the 3D uh, workshops downstairs. Um, at, the, at the moment, we're doing the final project, which is their final major project, their FMP. And in this, we kind of give students guidance on artists to research as suggestions. And then they specialize in areas where they um, where they feel their strengths are or where they feel they want to develop their strengths. Um, we tell them how, what's necessary to get a really good grade and break it up so that it's, it's simple and clear what, what, what is necessary to get a pass, what they need to do to get a merit and what ideally they should be doing to get a distinction. Um, we use this booklet to help them plan and evaluate their work. And these are all the skills that are necessary to, to, um, to be successful on the level two and the level ones and the level three art and design courses. It's all about planning, um, researching, um, making work and evaluating. All of those areas are fundamental to being an all round brilliant art student. And that is what we want to make. We expect every student to be here on time. Obviously, there are times when things get in the way, if people are ill or, or people need to be cared for, etc. And so long as you let us know, then we're happy. But we do expect that all students aim for 100% attendance. You, you are here at college because you want to be, because you're doing a subject which I hope you love. 
and that you're going to be here for every single lesson and be committed to, to making a success of your career at college. Every student will be part of a tutor group. I'm a tutor for the level two group. Um, and the tutor looks after the pastoral needs and uh, cares, for the, cares for, the, for the group as, as individuals, and make sure that they are okay and that they are going to their English lessons and their maths lessons, etc. We give support. If certain students need support, with, we have got ALS workers who will work alongside us to make sure that the written work, the evaluation, the research is supported. We also, in this area, have three fantastic technicians who are kind of working photography, printmaking, 3D, ceramics, and it means that, um, that we are supported as staff and that the students are supported um, with specialist knowledge, specialist that you, you don't really get at school necessarily, that we've got people who understand the kind of the complexities and the needs of, of printmaking, ceramics, etc. And they will support students in making the best work they can. There's a real kind of camaraderie, a real sense of, of group spirit that, that um, that students in the art and design area and the art and design school feel. And that, I think, gets the, means that the people really enjoy being at college and get the most out of the facilities, the equipment, the materials that we've got here. So level three students progress, generally speaking, onto degree courses because that is where industry wants um, that's the level of qualification that industry wants and requires. And so we get students going on to do graphic design, we get students doing um, architecture, doing fine art, doing animation, doing a whole range of subjects. We've had students come on to do architectural model making, to do um, blacksmith working, to do all, um, shoe design. You name it, we get students going into all kind of nuanced areas of, of art design. And people don't know um, what these areas are when they first start. Um, but as they kind of develop, they see that their skills have blossomed and flourished in certain areas. And we as staff will guide students and help them think about areas that they maybe hadn't thought of um, before they'd applied to college and, and continue that and specialize in those areas in years to come. You can apply to all these courses, a whole range of courses, if you look online on the college website, um, and you can also apply through that college website. I wish you all the best, and hope to see you in the near future. Thank you.